Hello everyone, this is Ba from Ba's Grass Creations and today we're gonna be creating an easy um, journal for beginners or you can also use this as your signature on a journal. I'm participating on a swap where we have to send a signature page and um, I was gonna do a simple like with pocket, just a belly band. That's the requirement. The requirement is that your um, page uh your signature has to be eight by five and a quarter so you uh, need to use like a regular copy size copy paper size but i'm gonna be using 12 by 12 paper and we're gonna do like a simple uh, beginner's journal or you can use this as a signature but it's supposed to be a, a, a signature page to send to my partner and the thing is butterfly. So I'm using, I have some things that have butterflies on it because the thing is butterfly. But this, it could be easily, it could be like a signature for your journal or a beginner's journal, uh, simple journal. So we're gonna be doing this today and let me give you measurements before I show you the paper that I'm gonna be using. For my pages, um, the size for the regular one, the regular size is gonna be five by eight and I have different papers and different size, but if you want all of them the same size, uh, the size is five by eight. And let me show you what my daughter did for me. Um, she did avocado dye paper, it was her first attempt and it got wrinkle and it got, um, it broke on several places, but I wanted to incorporate that because the color goes uh, perfectly with my paper that I'm gonna be using. And since she gave it to me, I wanted to incorporate it on this project. But what I'm gonna do is, and this is Brinko, I'm gonna use this to add like pockets and stuff. So I wanted to add this to my signature because I really love that she did that, that for me. I also some, have some of the pieces that broke here to maybe use on the cover. Um, I don't know yet, but I have some pieces there that I may use just because um, that was so sweet for, uh, you know, for her to do that for me. And I wanna do it on this, I use it on this project. And then for my signature, for my cover, I'm using a 12 by 12 paper. And what I did, because I wanted to show you that you can create a cover for your journal, for your beginner's journal using a 12 by 12 paper, or you can use a 10 and a half by eight. I think it's 10 and a half by eight. You know the regular copy size pa um, paper? Let me get a copy paper here so I can show you. Let's see if I can grab one from my printer. Uh, there you go. So you can use this size or you're gonna use a 12 by 12. I'm gonna be using the 12 by 12 paper. And what I did, let me show you. Let me get my cutter here so you can see. You don't have to cut your paper. You can do a six, um, like six inches wide. This one is five and a quarter, but you can go up to six if you want to, but if you wanna cut your 12 by 12 paper for your cover, um, I cut my 12 by 12 paper. I did it on 12 by 10 and a half. So let me show you. This is my 12 inch side. So what I did on my 12 inch side, I score a four to create this pocket. And that way it's gonna, my signature is gonna be eight inches long. So on this side, I didn't cut anything. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna go to your 12 inch side and you're gonna cut, um, I'm sorry, you're gonna um, score on the four score line. So that will give you this pocket. So when you fold your paper, your signature or your cover is gonna be eight inches long. And then for this side, since the requirement for this signature page is has to be, I have it here, five and a quarter by eight. On this side, I cut my paper. 
I went to 10 and a half. Wait, let me see. Yes, let me make sure. I cut at 10 and a half. And then I score at the five and a quarter mark right here. And the piece that I cut, I'm gonna use as a belly band or maybe a smaller pocket. But that's the only uh, cut that you're gonna make. You're gonna go to your, you know, the paper, the side that is gonna be the wide of your cover. You're gonna cut it at 10 and a half and you're gonna score at five and a quarter. And that will give you this line here. And that will be the like the spine of your signature. So your signature is gonna be, or your cover is gonna be five and a quarter by eight. And then you have this pocket that is four inches um, wide by five and a quarter. So um, that's the measurements for the cover of your signature or the cover of your journal. I also, besides the pages, I also gonna have these two pockets. And that's the, the other paper that I use, the other um, 12 by 12 paper. And let me give you measurements here. I cut my paper six by 10 and a half. And I score what I did, I went here, I cut my paper at 10 and a half. And then I score at the five mark. I need to do um, this dress here. So I, I score on the five mark and then I move my paper to the side, I'm sorry. You score at the five inches. Then I turn it around and I score here at the half inch. And that will give me this flap to add my, um, to add my pocket to my signature or to my journal. Let me distress this real quick here. And I using my archival ink to distress my edges and the color I will give it the name of the color right now is orange blossom. That's the color that I'm using to distress my edges. So I cut two pieces of paper and let me give you a measurement again. You're gonna cut them six by 10 and a half. Six by 10 and a half. And you're gonna have a small piece that you're gonna have extra. Just keep that. You can use that to, for decorate or as a pocket, which is here. This is the two pieces from my pocket and this is from the cover of the journal and I have these little pieces here that I may use for decoration. I'm gonna try to use everything and let me show you what I did. You know these papers bring this hole here and you have to cut this strip, which is this. On this pocket, I left it there because I'm gonna attach get my little lace that I want to attach there. This here, like it's going to look like a tag like that. Um, But it, that's optional. I just like that. I don't know. I've been doing that song or song of my project, but you know, I kept the hole here, but you can cut that off and not use that. And then I have some butterfly sticker. Let me show you here. I had this, it came with the paper part that I'm using and I have some of these postcards that I'm gonna use as my journaling cards. And then I had these little tags that have butterflies. So I'm gonna use some of them on this project. And let me show you the beautiful paper pad that I'm gonna be using. And this paper pad, oh, I'm in love with it. I don't think that I have used this one yet on a project. This is the first project that I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using this paper. This paper, I got it at Joanne Fabric, and I think, I don't see the price, but I think this paper was $16.99, but it had 40% off, so I only paid like $11. It's double-sided, 12 by 12 paper, but look how pretty this paper is. And I got it at Joanne Fabric a couple of weeks ago. It's just that I didn't have time to do a project yet. And when I saw this event on a group that I'm a member, that they were using like butterflies, I said, that's the perfect thing for using this paper pad. And it says, the name is Preserve 
paper and it's from DCWV, which is, uh, I don't say, I guess that's the name of the company. And it's double sided, 12 by 12, sheets with gold foil. And it brings 36 sheets. So it brings two of each design. And I'm in love with this paper, it's so pretty. And there was so many papers with butterflies, but I picked this one that I really like. So that's the paper that I'm gonna be using, but you will use whatever you have at home. So the first thing, I'm gonna put this aside for now. The first thing that we are gonna do, we're gonna attach our pockets and our signature. And I am thinking to use this butterfly from Dollar Tree on my cover. I have it there just in case. So the first thing that we're gonna work is on this larger pocket. And I'm gonna close them. I didn't wanna close them before I show you, you know, the measurements, but I already have my double-sided tape here to close my pocket. And this flap, gonna go one pocket is gonna go here like that and then the other one is gonna go here like that but I think let me see I want this to go this way so it's gonna go like that I'm just trying to see um, what I like best if I want I think this is better going this way so I may attach them here or let me see if I like it here no I think I'm gonna do my flap going this way so this is gonna be right there like this this one is gonna go on the front but I just wanted to show you so you're gonna have that there and then when I attach my signature so I guess it has to be like this because I want my signature on this side. My signature is gonna go right here in the middle and this flaps here. So this is gonna go this way and this way. Okay, so let me close my pockets and we will add them here. We will glue them down and then we will attach the pages to our signature. And the first thing I'm gonna add, I forgot to add my double-sided tape to close this pocket. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna close this. And this is an easy way to learn how to a signature for your journal or, you know, a simple journal. Because we're gonna try, we're gonna do the pamphlet, uh, pamphlet stitch to attach our pages. And for that, I have my embroidery thread here ready with my needle. So I'm gonna show you how to do a pamphlet stitch to attach your pages to your signature journal. So today is the day that you're gonna be learning how to create a signature or, you know, a simple journal using your 12 by 12 paper or a copy size paper. Um, if you can, please use, you know, cardstock, it will be better. Okay, so we're gonna close this pocket first. So that's closed. You don't need to worry about this in the middle because we're gonna, you know, um, do the pamphlet stitch for our signature and that will be, um, you know, when you stitch that, that's gonna be closed there. So you don't have to worry about that. Let's close this one. And I'm using my quarter inch, quarter of an inch double-sided tape you can use your glue 
whatever you have at home available to you. And here is my pocket. Making sure that my tape, let me score this here. Um, let me use this as a, how do you call that, a bone folder? Okay, let's close this one. And I had never done a signature where I had this kind of pocket attached to it. So this is my first time, but I wanted to try something different. So hopefully this will work. And here's my second pocket. So, okay, so this one I want here on the front. I think I'm gonna do it like that. And yes, and then my signature is gonna go on this side. So let me get my glue and I'm gonna be using this. I got this new glue crafters pick and it says the glue that sticks, the ultimate, the only non-toxic water-based super glue. Uh, and it, it work on plastic already. I try it on plastic and I already try it with paper. But it says, it says that you can use it with metals, plastic, glass, and more. So I only had tried it with plastic and with paper, and I like it. So, so far, I think this is the, my new favorite glue, and I think from now on, this is the glue that I'm going to be using instead of my fast grad tacky glue because it works on plastic, and I'm happy. Oh, I also try with fabric. And it works too, so. And I got it, let me see, 549 at Hobby Lobby. I'm trying to find my plastic thing that I used to cover my desk. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, I know I put it here somewhere, right here. Just to cover my desk. Okay, so, I'm just gonna go like that making sure before I glue anything now. Okay, so I'm gonna add my glue on this side. And here you don't have to add glue. You can also use your double side tape. Just gonna use my glue, but you don't have to. Maybe it would be better if you use your <laughs> double sided tape, but I already used my glue. And I'm trying to leave a little gap between my see, um, my cover and my pocket. So it will close without any problems. This is our first pocket is attached. And then our second one will go there. Maybe I should have done the holes first. I don't know. We are winging in here, um, trying something new. So let's see how that works. Oops, sorry, I moved my camera. And I didn't even, guys, I didn't even check if it was upside down or not, but it's fine. I clean my glue here. So next, we're gonna try to add our signature. Let me erase this here. I just have to, don't forget what was my measurement, it's five by eight. And 
Let me grab. This to hold my paper in place. Let me find my center. my signature here in place. And before I do the hole, I'm making sure that is where I want it. It's my center right there. And I'm just gonna eyeball this, but you can measure as you want to, but I am not gonna do that. Because um, it's just a simple signature. So um, I got, we're gonna do three holes. And maybe this paper, let me move it. So it's more even here and here on the bottom. I think that's good enough right there. Don't have to be perfect. But if you wanna do measurements, let me show you what I will do if I will do measurement. Let me get my ruler here. So this is what I will do. Since this is for the beginners, you know that this is eight inches, right? What I will do um, I would go like up two inches and then two inches here and then the one on four. So let's do it that way. So I'm gonna do my first hole here at two. Where's my pillow? My pillow's there. So let's do the hole here at two inches. Then I will go two inches from here. That will be our six, right? So we're gonna do the next hole here at six. And then I will go to the fourth, right there. And I have my three holes. And my land of my brother thread is almost an approximate three times the size of my journal. It's an approximate. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna start on your middle hole. And you're gonna leave a leg here from your um, thread so you can hold it in place, right? And you're gonna go to the, it doesn't matter if you go to the bottom or the top, but I'm gonna go here on the top. Okay, and from there, you can go here in the middle and then come back on the bottom, but we're gonna go this way. So you're gonna go to the, from here inside, you're gonna go to the bottom one. And then you're gonna go to the middle. Okay. And just make sure that your thread is pulled and tight. You see it's tight here and Make sure that this is in between your two legs. Let's call this legs. And you're gonna do, I, I always do like a double knot, but making sure that everything is tight and neat. And you're gonna, gonna go one and two times. You can do as many as you want, but I always do two. 
Okay, so our signature is in place. Let me remove this and cut this here. Sorry if I'm moving my camera with my head. Okay, so this, I always like to leave this here, but we're gonna do it in a little bowl. And let me cut this. So this is what we call the pamphlet stitch. So your signature is already in place. this and so your pages on your C natural cover is in place I was talking about my pages sorry okay oh I love it and okay so let me show you let me move this out of the way so you had your two pockets look the butterfly how pretty and then your paper is for your signature let me show you the paper this is i got this on a thrift store then my avocado dye paper this and let me cut let me count how many pages do we have one two four five six seven eight so we have nine pages that will give you a total of 18 pages and then you have your pocket here so you have four pockets for now we have this one this two and the one on the back okay this don't worry about it because this is what i'm gonna do You're gonna do like a side pocket here. And I'm gonna have this pocket here like that. And then I'm gonna have this tuck spot here. I was thinking to do that or, let me see, where's my other, I was thinking, since I had the division, I was thinking to cover this here like that and just had that as decoration. I may go with this because I have another idea for here so i think let's do that let me cover this because i don't like this division here i was gonna do the side pocket right here but i'm gonna do smaller pockets for my tags so let's cover that let me get my glue but if you don't mind this here that's fine it's just that little division i don't know if you can see it. let me show you what i'm talking about where the pockets met right here i don't know if you can see it but it's right there where the pocket is. This pocket. I'm just gonna cover that. But you don't have to. If you use the color that and I don't like this orange to orange here. I don't know. I don't like this side of my pocket. That's why I didn't use that side. So I'm just gonna cover it here with some glue. You know, this is your project. You can decorate it any way you like. I just give you an idea, but you know, you can um, decorate this. There's no right and wrong. You can do it any way you like. I kind of like that there, that design. So you're gonna go with this. I keep that and let's trim this. trying to go as close as possible but let me use my smaller scissor here there you go okay there you go i like it better now like that perfect perfect i love it i love my little journal okay let me add my piece of oh, this is a trim let's add it here okay 
I didn't cut it because I don't know if I wanted this length or so I want it longer. I think I like it that side. So let's cut this. There you go. Oh, I love it. I love that. Look how cute. Um, they're not the same size. Let me try. <laughs> Let me trim this one too. Okay. Here I may add a butterfly or something. Or I was thinking one of these little pieces of lace right there. But I will decide later what I'm going to add there. Okay, so let's start decorating our... Signature or our cover, our journal. Okay, so here, let me get my tags and journaling cards. Here, these tags are very small, so I was thinking to do like a mini pocket here, but I want it to the side. Or maybe you can, no, but I want it to the side and then, thinking to do a belly band here but let me show you let me cut it you see here these butterflies I want to use that as a belly band so let me cut this and I know I, I, ha I can have all this ready but I didn't want to have it ready because I'm doing this project thinking more of a beginner person so let me tell you what a belly band is. A belly band is a piece of paper that you will add to your journal anywhere on your page. And you're only gonna um, glue your piece of your belly band on the top and the bottom like that. And then you have this open and you can put a journaling card. You can put anything that you want here. So I want to use this as belly band. And let me see where do I want it. I think I want this more here on the front. And maybe I can use it on this pocket, but I want to go this way. I know the butterflies are going like that way, but it doesn't matter. And gonna cut this butterfly here from the end because I don't want it. So that's gonna be my belly band and this is not straight. Okay, so I want the butterfly going this way. Oh, this way. I think I like it like that. So I'm just gonna add glue here and here on my bottom. Or you can use your double-sided tape. The belly band can be the size. Let's say that this is my journal page. The belly band can be the size of your page. You can also use a smaller belly band. It don't has to be the size of your page, but you know, usually that's the size that you will use as long as your page. But it doesn't matter. Um, it, it don't has to be exactly like that. Okay, so my belly band is gonna go over there. Let me use just a little bit of glue here. And then some on the bottom. So a belly band I will say is like an open pocket. Um, just a second, I have something here on my chair. I have a map on my door and my chair. Okay, I, I want my butterfly. My chair um, was against it and it got um, it got um, 
it fall from my my wall. So it's hanging there on my chair, and I'm trying to remove it. And just a second, let me finish removing it from the wall because it's bothering me. Yeah, I remove it. Okay, so I have my belly band here, and I'm gonna leave that to dry, and then we will add. So um, we're gonna put one of these journaling cards, and here. Maybe here we can have another belly band. I don't like this design that much. That's why I don't want to use it. Yeah, let's use this. I like this. So I'm going to cut this. Let me tell you what the size it's gonna be is this is one and a half and I'm gonna cut it to six inches so it's gonna be one and a half by six and you see this belly band is smaller and this one is larger and that's fine this one it will be the size of my um, pocket you can also add it here and do like a side pocket like you will glue the three um, sides of your belly band or your side pocket and then you can put something here but I want the belly band so let's glue on the top and bottom again but you can do a side pocket tuck spots and I will show you what a tuck spot is in just a minute let me Add my glue to my belly band. Okay, we're gonna let that try. So let me show you what a tuck spot is. I this this embellishment is like. Let's see if I have it here handy. Okay, here's one. I did this cluster. Um, it's like a cluster embellishment. It's a banner, and I usually do this for a tuck spot. And the tuck spot is something that you will put like in the corner of your page. Maybe I can use this. You have butterflies. And then you can tuck something under it. And you just glue, uh, put your glue or the oversized tape here on the top. And right there. And then you will tuck something. This is green. I don't go with my team, but I have butterfly. I'm going to keep it here on the side for now. Here, I don't think I'm going to do anything. But you can add pockets here as well as you want. Like maybe here on the bottom. But I think I'm going to leave that like this simple like that i like it i may add a butterfly or something there i may i may let me get my butterfly stickers yeah i think i will use my butterfly on this one the other one has a butterfly but i think i'm gonna use this butterfly right here and maybe in the middle i like it to the side this one have a butterfly already so this one i'm gonna leave like that here i may add a sentiment and i think i have two here you say be bold kind of like that let's add that there Okay, I like that. Simple, beautiful. And then here, here I did my score line there. And then I noticed I have a butterfly. So I, I did another line for my, um, for my flap. Have this little butterfly here. Maybe something like that, and maybe a sentiment there. 
I had these little pieces of stickers. I don't know if I'm gonna use them, but I like, I kind of like this there. I may add that there. And let's, let's do that. Let's not think about it too much. You can decorate this any way you like. It's gonna distress this. And I don't know where I got this. I think it was in Happy Mail. And this was from a project that I just did in a, in a collaboration with Ray Shambhala. And I have some of these little pieces left, so I'm gonna use it here. This came on the digital kit that we used for that collaboration. So let's place that there. And I think, yeah, I have one here. This one says, just saying hello, let's use it here. These little sentiments, I um, stamp the sentiment on canvas paper. I did a project with that Canva paper and the scrap pieces of, of the canvas I use, I um, stamp a sentiment there. This one says just saying hello and that's the same thing for this one, be bold. Let me clean here. Pretty, I love it. On this pocket on the back. Gonna distress the white edges here. This is an a sticker that I got on, on Happy Mail. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I get on happy mail and i haven't even used them so i'm trying to use some of my happy mail gift you know pe things that people send me on happy mail i've been trying to use them on different projects add that there and then i want to add this little butterfly or maybe no i would like the, the smaller one I don't know if I have more um, of these sentiments here. I mean, sorry for my arm being on the way. I had this little play here with different things that I have received a happy mail and song ephemera. Let me see if I have another of those sentiments that I stamp. You got this? Let me see if I have another one. And that's the last one. I think I already used all of them. So let's use that one there. Just gonna trim some of these Y edges here. There. And gonna distress it. I like this glue, you can glue anything with it. Well, I haven't tried the metal, but fabric, paper, you got this. Plastic, I already tried with all those three and it works. Perfect, I love it. I love it, oh, I love this. So pretty, okay, so let's see, maybe I can use this butterfly, I can fussy cut it. Uh, if I can get this one out of the plastic, my goodness. I'm 
now of course I bent the little um, wing I think I like that there ah yes perfect perfect I think this should be dry now okay so on here Yeah, I may do the side pocket then. Let me let me show you. Looking for my scissors. There, I'm just gonna add glue here on three sides of my pocket. And you can use your double-sided tape, your glue, you know, whatever you have handy. You can also use your glue on and just using this. Do I want it on? Yeah, I don't want it here. try here yeah I don't think that I want to do anything maybe a butterfly or something get my butterflies these ones are fronting holes tra Trump transparent wings you have we bring uh, 72 pieces it's just plastic butterflies I like that one better. This paper, I'm not gonna do anything. I just gonna do this side pocket here, this butterfly here. I may do something here, maybe a belly band. This one, I'm just gonna leave for the person to decorate any way they like. Maybe I should have created a talk spot with this butterfly, but I already glued it on. Maybe I can do a mini talk spot here. Let me kind of round the corners. I'm sorry. I say why does this look different? I was missing this little piece here. Oh. How this go? There. I think it's like that, right? You see? How this goes. This from this? I know there's missing something here, I don't know. Well, let me just use this one. Ah, oh, I got it, I got it. Sorry for that, guys. Uh, something was weird with my corner rounder I 
This one I'm just gonna glue the top. And I'm gonna do like a tuck spot here. Just gonna put glue on the top and that's it. gonna let it dry my butterfly here I'm not gonna do anything I'm gonna leave it like that here I should have this dresser but that's fine that's fine let's let me check I don't want to add anything else That's good enough. I have belly band, I have tux ball, I have pockets, plenty of pockets. Let's cut some of this. I'm gonna do use this um journaling cards on my larger pocket. And I would distress it later, but um, just so you know, I'm gonna distress the edges and round the corners. But for now, I'm just gonna cut them. I can do like a tag. Let's see. There's like a tag shape here. Uh, if I can, there. And let's add some of this. And like I told you, I'm gonna distress the edges later. I just wanna keep going so we don't take too long. I just wanted to show you, you know, how you can do a simple journal or a signature for your journal. Okay, so let's put this one on the top pocket. Perfect. And then this one is out of here. I may add something like I will do a top something here, but for now, just, we're going to leave it like that. And then I cut some of this small one. belly band here for this pocket I may need larger than this ones but for now let's use this oh okay, I, I need some smaller pocket for my tags I will add some right now let me cut this This one here for now.
for this really one. Let's use this one. Perfect. Okay, here I may use my piece of paper. Let me do a little pocket here. Let me see the size of my tag. I like it there. We add some glue. Maybe I should use my um, one eighth of an inch tape, double sided tape. But let's see if I can use the glue. If not, that's fine. I'm gonna put this little pocket here and I'm gonna leave it to dry and I will add one of my little tacks there. Maybe I will do the same thing here on this one. I like that. Let's do that there. Okay, let's do, let me let that dry. I get so difficult to remove them from this plastic. Well, at least for me. There. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let me cut something for here. Piece of ephemera. I think I'm gonna use this one there. Nobody matters, but I like this one better. I think for this one. And then this will go here in my tuck spot. I'm just gonna uh, put everything that I have on that page there. So let's cut this and add it to those pockets. And we're gonna cut a couple of tags and we are done. Oh, well, putting the ephemera and the journaling guy, I still need to do the, um, still need to do my um, cover. Cut a couple of this. I like this one here. And I need one more. I guess I will go, go with this one here in the corner.
had this and I'm gonna use we cut it in half so I can use on both tags this is eyelash trim okay have my first little tag for here let's do the last one I have my fan, my fan on and my eyelash trim just went to the floor. Let me see if I can grab it. Oh, it's here on my chair. That's gonna go for this one and we are done with the inside of our Signature or journal, any way you want to call it. That's perfect. Oh, I love it. I don't know you, but I love it. Okay, let me throw all this out. Okay, so let's do our cover. For my cover, I use my glue gun is ready there. I have, I may use this. Let me bring everything that I have here that I may use. So I'm gonna use this here. And then on the other side, um, let me grab my glue gun. I mean, you can go decorate your cover any way you like. Sorry if I move the camera hopefully my hair is not on the way my head let's do the other side the back I was thinking to add more this here. I don't know you, but I like that, so I'm gonna do that. This is optional. You don't have to do this part. Here, where's the end of my, oh my goodness. There you go, it's here.
be careful not to cut my little tail here. Oh, I love this. So feminine, so beautiful. Okay, so let's decorate our cover. Let me open this and see if I wanna use a piece of this. I got this at um, Dollar Tree. They have a white, black, red, blue, um, bl um, brown, yellow. They have different colors. I don't know if I'm gonna use it, but I'm just gonna cut a little piece here. If I like the white one better. Let me see where my white one is. No, I think I'm gonna go with the orange because I'm gonna cover it. Let's see. Just bear with me. I just looking here and see what I wanna do. Trying to see if I will do like a small collage here on my cover. I might cut this piece, but just bear with me for a moment. You know, I wanna know what I'm doing here. Just trying to see what I like. I know I wanna use this butterfly. I wanna try to incorporate this little piece of what my daughter made for me. I know I have a match. Let me see if I can find that just real quick, real quick. I like another mesh um, thing, but I'm gonna some of this eyelash trim okay so let's see let me see let me see Okay, let me let me start gluing stuff some of the stuff down so I can get this in place. I know that I want this little piece of paper here. Okay, and do I want another piece? I kind of like that there here in the top. Oh yes, I like that. So let's glue this one on the bottom under my lace or my mesh. Piece of mesh here. Oops, I thought it was this one. And I 
I like that there. So this one is gonna go right there. This one. Okay, I like this one. That's might be too big. I like kind of like that peek in there. That will be covered with the wing. Okay, where's my eyelash trim? I should have turned my fan off. I don't even want to stay in place. Oh my god. Sticking to my finger. A little of that of glue there so I can hold it in place right there. I don't like it like that under my wings. So let's do that. So let's glue the butterfly before I change my mind. Let me add more glue to my gun. Let's do this. Let's do this before I change my mind. Oh, I love it. Don't have to be perfect. I just want some of that trim picking out in some places. Perfect. My paper, let me glue this down better. See if I want to add more somewhere. I think I like it there. And let me go one more and see if I want to add one more. If no, I was thinking maybe down here, like that. I kind of like it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I love it. Okay, one more thing. I'm gonna add some pearls. Let me grab them here. This is it. I didn't have it out because I just thought about it. Let's see which one I, I want.
I think I'm gonna go with this with the fur on it. Cause I have this one too, but I think it's gonna be too much of the same color, practically. So let's use some of this. Some random places. That's good enough. Three, I feel like one more here. Like right there. All right. Got some glue because it's on top of my mesh on my tool. Perfect. Okay, I think, I think that's good enough. I like it. I don't think that I'm gonna add a sentiment my front I think I'm just gonna leave it like this I like it so let me show you let me just throw some things out so I can have space I didn't use this I don't like that it's green but I just wanted to show you what a talk spot is I have a butterfly left maybe I can use it somewhere let me see Let's see. I think I'm gonna add it. It's out of here. Perfect. Okay, so let me show you. This is our front. Right there. How pretty. And then we have our pocket. I feel like I need more larger stuff here, but for now we're gonna leave it like that. My belly band with my journaling card. Then we have this here, our little tag. This. I'm gonna turn this around so you can see it better. Right there. Our little tag. Oh, how pretty. Okay, then we have our tag here, our pages, then the middle we have our pocket, tux, um, side pocket, our tuck spot, pages, our pocket with journaling card in the back. I'm not going to do anything, but you can add a pocket, a belly band, whatever you like on the front, on the back. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to add anything. I think I have plenty of stuff on my journal or signature. Um, so I think that's enough for, you know, a simple journal. You have journaling space, you have tag, you have your pocket tuck spots, belly band. So I think that's plenty of things that you can add. You can add more, you know, the sky is the limit, but I think for a simple journal or signature page, this is perfect. You have 18 pages and all your ephemera so this is it for this project i hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial please give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it that will help me you know um youtube will recommend my tutorials to other people that like you know craft and to make journals and stuff please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed subscribe to my channel today and happy crafting everyone i see you in the next tutorial thank you